I get tons of emails and DMs on my social media asking personal questions about dating. The reality is, though, that these personal dating questions pertain to a lot of people. So I'm going to start doing a regular Q&A where I answer your questions. If you have a question for me, please post it on my social media, on my Facebook page, my Instagram, my Twitter, anywhere that you can reach me. Here's the first one. I have a huge crush on a chick who's way out of my league. And by that, I mean literally. I know I have to be confident and believing in yourself as sexy and all of those things, but Laurel, she looks hotter. She's richer. And should I even try and make a move? Or am I going to make a fool out of myself? Okay. The reality is no one's out of your league unless you believe that they're out of your league. If you really believe that hotter richer, more powerful, smarter, bigger social network means better, then that's your issue. And you need to stop for a second and look at yourself and realize what it is that you bring to the table. What do you bring to the table when it comes to a relationship? Are you a great communicator? Do you lead an interesting life? Do you have life experience that can contribute to intellectually stimulating conversations? Are you able to make someone feel safe, sexy, and seen? Would you make someone feel more loved than anyone else even has the ability to do? Are you great at making someone feel like a priority? Are you driven? Are you someone that she can respect? or he can respect, someone who is admirable and even adorable, someone who is going to inspire. All of these things are actually relationship essentials. How hot, rich, smart, well-networked they are is not a relationship essential. Those are one, two, maybe three things that are different, not better, than you. You're not looking for a superficial relationship. You're looking for a real relationship with a human being. So stop looking at the superficial things and putting all of this weight on them. And if that person who has all of those superficial things is allowing that weight to be felt, then they aren't really looking for a real relationship of substance. Maybe they're just not there yet. Maybe they still do believe that all of those superficial things are really that important. And that's fine for them. But if you want to be with that, you're actually settling. You're settling for less than you deserve. Because you deserve to be with a whole person, not just a rich person, a beautiful person, a successful person, a smart person, a well-connected person. Those are just parts. You want a whole, right? So own what you have to bring to the table. Own what it is that you can contribute to a relationship and know that that is worth a lot more. Own who you are. Be confident with what you have to bring. Know what it is that you also need out of a relationship. What do you need from someone and what can you give to someone? Then approach the person with that confidence, with that knowing, because confidence, let me tell you, is unbelievably sexy. You can take a hot, rich, smart person who doesn't have confidence and they are not attractive. Maybe for a second they are, but very quickly they are not attractive. But if you are confident, and I don't mean arrogant, I just mean confident. If you own all of your amazing traits, all of your amazing characteristics, all of the amazing things that you bring to the table, that's sexy. They will feel your worth because you believe in your worth. If you don't think you're worthy, neither will they. Until you know that you are then they won't. As soon as you do, as soon as you own that worth, as soon as you know, you know what? You're actually lucky to be with me because I have so many great relationship sustaining qualities. I will make you feel amazing until you own that. And as soon as you do own that, they're going to see that. And they're going to want that. 
because they're going to think, wow, they clearly think very highly of themselves. There must be a reason why. I want in. So stop thinking they're out of my league and realize your, your league is maybe different than what you expected. It's not about looks or money or smarts. It's about what really does create a relationship. What really does make someone happy. That's what we want, right? We want to be connected. We want to feel loved. We want to feel like a priority. We want to feel safe. We want to feel sexy. We want to feel seen for who we are. We want to be able to communicate. Be that. Show that and expect that from others. That was my Dating Laurel Q&A for today. If you have a question, then please reach out on social media and I will do my best to answer your question too. Thanks so much.